The average price of a house today is $428,700, according to economic data from the Federal Reserve. This number is an increase of 23.5% when that same house cost $346,900 in 2021, according to the National Association of Realtors. So tell me, did you take advantage of the 2021 prices or did you end up paying more for that same house this year? And while you let me know down in the comments, let me tell you that expensive houses don't have to be your reality because I will share with you a platform where you can get those cheap houses that you are looking for. That's right. Cheap houses are not history. You can still get them through foreclosure.com, a platform where you can get cheap houses near where you live and why not even in another state. And the best part is you will have access to those houses before they enter the market, just like you see on their website. For those of you who are new to foreclosure, that's a term generally used to refer to houses with mortgages that could not be paid for by their buyers. And therefore, those properties end up being repossessed by the bank. And since the bank is not in the business of managing houses, they seek to get out of that inventory by selling them for the amount that it's remaining on the mortgage. Let's suppose, for example, we have the case of Chippy Gaines, right? Who bought his house based on emotions. And little by little, he realized that his income did not allow him to afford the mortgage payments of that house. And sadly, by the time he realized that he could no longer afford the house, it was already too late and he lost the house to foreclosure. So Cheapy's house numbers will look something like this. So Cheapy's house was purchased in 2021 and he paid 375,000 for this property. He's been paying off the mortgage over time. And let's say that by December 2022, he realized he could no longer afford the mortgage payments and his debt was left at $346,900. And like I said, he sadly lost the house. The bank repossessed the house. And now because it's part of their foreclosure listing, they are selling this property. And generally the bank sells it for this amount that you see here on the screen. That's typically how foreclosure works. Now, how do you get access to these cheap houses? Well, very easy. That's what foreclosure.com is for. Let me show you. So here we are in foreclosure.com's website. Before I continue, I want to let you know that we have negotiated a great deal for you. And that is access to a one week free trial for you on the foreclosure.com website, which you can access through our link down below in the description box or in the comment section. So let's first um, navigate this website and head out to this tab right here where you see cheap homes. And once you get here, you're going to see a listing of um, different price points, so to speak. So you have under 10, under 20, 40, and 60. So let's just try under 60,000. And uh, I keep hearing that in New York, everything's expensive. So let's just check out what we can find in New York for 60,000. So we have this property right here for 59,900 in Troy. Same thing here for under 60,000 in Rochester. And this one over here for 28,000 in Norwick, New Jersey. And another one here for under 30,000 in Caroga Lake. So definitely some inventory out there for you to check out. Now, I wanna pause for a second and ask for your opinion. What do you think about what I'm sharing so far? Let me know down in the comment section below and your comment will help me get to know you better. So that way I can design a much better episode that can meet your needs in terms of what you're looking to learn. Now, back to the episode. Now, another way to navigate this website is by coming on to the main page again, and then you're gonna scroll down to where you see find foreclosures in your area. So these are meant to be a shortcut for you to better navigate the website. So if you're interested in investing in major cities, like for example, Vegas, Miami, Atlanta, Chicago, you can definitely check those out right here. All you gotta do is just to come and click on 
Vegas foreclosure, for example. And that link will take you straight to foreclosure homes that you can find in Vegas. So we have this one over here for 362, 340. There's another one over here at 439, 823, and another one for 479, 358, right? Now, another thing I wanted to point out, and this is great for those who do wholesaling, there is a big list of pre foreclosure here that you can definitely check out and expedite your search to add that inventory to your wholesale list. So uh, once you click on pre-foreclosure homes, you're going to come to this section right here and where all the pre-foreclosures can be found by state. So you have everything starting from Alaska, then you jump into Louisiana, South Carolina, Utah, Vermont, Washington, you name it. So definitely check that out. Now, if you want to be more concise with your search, I suggest you using the zip code of the area where you're either interested in buying or interested in investing. So all you have to do is just to come to this box right here where it says address, and then there's uh, this magnifying glass and you type in the uh, zip code. So let's just make one up. So uh, 11101 or something. Okay. So we got this one right here and voila, look at all of the foreclosures that you can find here. Uh, you got this one for under $1 million in Long Island City, which I know it's a pretty good deal because Long Island City houses do not go for less than $1 million typically. These ones over here, you find them in pre foreclosure. And then there's one over here that is on foreclosure, also in Long Island City for $1.3 million. Like I said, Typically, Long Island City properties do not go for less than one million. So this one is definitely one property that is worth checking out. As you can see, this page is very easy to navigate. Make sure you use the link down in the description or in the comment section so you can take advantage of the one week free trial. Best of luck.